Ki kala lali ya wa ba shim you know, there's just something about abiding in the Lord, you know, abiding in, in, the, in, the, um, in the work of the Lord, you know, and always, always, always abiding in what, what it is to do and always abiding in what it is the Lord say, you know. Because the NID, you can't be, you can't be, um, um, you can't be wanting good things to then up until you and you're not abiding in the Lord, you're not abiding in the Lord. Right, so this is John 15, um, this, um, now, from verse 3, you say, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Yes, yeah, so you're clean through the word. You know this word, the correct teaching of the, uh, 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 the Lord was saying. You know, you're clean through this. You understand? You're going to get clean through no water. But you, and you, you ain't going to get clean through no water as as, as um what is what these pastors today teach you. You know, you're going to breathe in the air, you're going to dip in the water to be clean. You understand? And you can get you. Now you can go and get dip in that water and you're and you going to come out steady, 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 same wicked person, you know. So you say, um, how are you going to get clean? How are you really going to, how are you really going to get cleansed? It's through this word, you know. Even the scriptures talk about that in Ephesians. You're cleansed through the word, which is the water, right? So it's John 15 verse 3. It's, you know, you are clean through the word, which I have spoken unto you. It say, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine, right? No more can ye except ye abide in me. So you have to abide in the Lord, right? You have to abide in the Lord. You know, you don't abide in nothing else, right? You want to, you want to bear fruit, you have to abide in the Lord. The same way, the same way you, you want the Lord to abide in you, it's the same way you have to abide in the Lord, right? Yeah, it goes two ways because in any day you, you, you can't want the Lord to abide in you, right? And you don't want to abide in the Lord. You don't want to happen to His word, right? You don't want to do the works, you don't want to do these things, right? It's abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear, bear fruit for itself except it, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me, right? It say, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him the same bringing forth much fruit. Right? For without me ye can do nothing. Yeah, without the Lord we can't do nothing. So that is why we want to abide in the Lord. And everything we do, we give thanks to Yahweh Shemi Oshai. Right? Because we know we abide in the Lord. And we want the Lord to abide in us. Right? Because scripture say he that abide scripture say, they say I am the vine and he are the branches. Right? He that abided in me and I in him the same bringing forth much fruit. So abiding in Mosai you bring forth much fruit. Right? They say, For without me ye can do nothing. Yeah, without the Lord you know we can't do nothing. Right? Yeah, it is you know true you have a shy, we can do all things. Right? So we have to abide in the Lord. We can't abide in nothing else in this world. We can abide in, in, in the abundance of money. We can abide in that paper dollar. We can abide in these women. So at the end of the day, what we have to abide in is the Lord. Right? And his word, it say, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Yes, so with all the Lord, he basically you just lost, right? You see, here yeah, is a branch and you withered. That means you what? You no good. Most to do it, <laughs> what men gonna do is just cast them into fire, and they are burned. So you no use, right? You know, use. You know, men. You know, are abiding in the Lord. You are know, trusting the Lord. You know, the Lord will do all things here. You know, the Lord will protect you in, in, in certain ways. Right? So, you have to abide in the Lord. See, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. So, the end of the day, you have to abide in the Lord. Yeah, we go through hard times and we go through this. And yeah, we know that. But still, have to abide in the Lord. Okay, you know the Lord. You know the Lord. Make all things be done right on the earth, right? So you have to abide in the Lord. You know, everybody, everybody want the Lord do something for them, but they don't want to do nothing for the Lord. They don't even want the Lord on the side, right? So at the end of the day, as John 15 7 says, If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you know, yeah, these words these words that are written abide in you, you know, they are falling, falling in most words, man. Follow any commandments, laws, statutes, right? 
be doing these things, right? To feed it just so. Hey, that things that that things you have to do, right? You see, ye shall ask, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So then I did, but I say, you know, just something to stick that they have to abide in the Lord. If you want things be done unto you, the right things be done unto you. You know, pay trust in the Lord, pay trust in His words, and keep on never leave this sanctuary then. You know, never leave it. Because let's go back to the six. See, it will be a branch with that. You know, and men gather them and cast them into fire and they are burned. So that is all that is all you basically is if you're not if you're not by any Lord, just lost. You know? People gonna trample it, people gonna do all kinds of things on here. Just be just be as you say lost. Right? You know, so keep abiding in the Lord. For the young brothers, I'll be watching, you know. I'll keep on abiding in this world, keep on abiding in your bashing your own shy. No asking most like the guide the good steps. Guide the steps. Right? So with that we give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the ones that apostles and elders of great mercy and well, and salutations to the Ark came out to the pushing the wood on 2030 day in and day out. Say shalom.